drive through festivals, sparsely populated football stadiums and partially occupied restaurants. There are all signs that Germany is in the next phase of reopening. It seems things are starting to look up, but scratch the surface a little and there are some problems that don't seem to be going away. So here are five stories from the past week that we want you to know about. There have been hundreds of coronavirus cases in slaughterhouses across Germany. It seems poor working conditions like overcrowding could be to blame. Many workers come from Eastern Europe, but testing for COVID-19 hasn't been done widely and proper measures don't seem to have been taken. The German government is proposing a ban on contract work for migrants. They want to implement federal regulations. Es gibt gibt auch eine Verantwortung des Bundes, den Rechtsrahmen zu verändern. Und vor allen Dingen der Fleischverarbeitenden Industrie ist kein Geheimnis, dass die Art und Weise, mit sub 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 unternehmern zu arbeiten, organisierte Verantwortungslosigkeit mit sich gebracht hat und oft bestehende Rechtsregeln auch unterlaufen werden bzw. ins Leere laufen, weil Kontrollen zum Beispiel in Unterkünften zu wenig stattfinden können. Our next story is one we've been talking about a lot over the last few weeks and that is the lack of personal protective equipment for doctors and nurses. There have been protests and even some stripping off to raise awareness of the problem but a new statistic might prove that point. Latest figures show that more than 20,000 healthcare workers have contracted COVID-19. In other words, 11% of all cases across the country and thousands more could follow unless the PPE supply problem is fixed. The pandemic hasn't put a stop to Islamophobia and xenophobia in Germany. A pig's head was hung on the door of a mosque in Feihingen to terrorize worshippers. Police have managed to identify two people behind the act, but their motivation and affiliation remain unknown. It's the latest in a string of racist and Islamophobic attacks in the country in the last month. Germans live for their summer holidays. It's not clear though if they will have the chance this summer. But Merkel's goal is to lift most of the global travel warnings on June the 15th. And so the German government is busy searching for COVID-19 free destinations they can advise citizens to go to. Also der 15. Juni ist nicht der Starttermin zum Urlaub machen. Der 15. Juni ist der Tag, an dem wir eine Entscheidung treffen müssen, ob wir die generelle Reisewarnung aufheben, die es weltweit gibt. Und wir arbeiten daran, dass wir diese Reisewarnung durch Reisehinweise ersetzen. And finally, we couldn't resist a cute animal story. In Bavaria, this furry friend is nuts about the picnic and she has a custom-built table where she can enjoy her snacks in style. The squirrel, who has been named Madame, comes at least once a day, sometimes even twice, to tuck in. Her table manners could use a little work though. Am liebsten ist es die Sonnenblumenkanne, da die saugt auf wie ein Staubsauger. Auch sehr gerne sind Haselnüsse und Walnüsse. Um, Rosinen. So that's our five stories for this week. More lockdown restrictions could be lifted in the next few days. But with COVID-19 clusters popping up in places like slaughterhouses and refugee shelters, Germany is a long way from being back to normal.